Professor Nigel Wilding from the Department of Physics, Bath University. I'm Henry Etheridge, I'm doing Envis at Bath. Hemant Chudasama, Aerospace Engineer, second year. When I was an undergraduate, I attended a course on the scientific, techniques of scientific computing, and we did some simulation in that uh, course, and I really loved it, and I decided that's what I wanted to do as a PhD, and I, I did it, do it as a PhD, and it sort of evolved from there, really. I work in a field called soft condensed matter physics. Soft matter is uh, things like colloids and polymers, uh, liquid crystals, membranes. My uh, speciality is in, in theory and computer simulation. So computer simulation is like the third way in physics. It's somewhere between traditional experiment and traditional pen and paper theory. My particular area, I tend to work with uh, a type of simulation called Monte Carlo simulation. You have to really write your own. And a lot of what we do is inventing new algorithms uh, which allow us to study phenomena which weren't previously uh, accessible because of lengths or time scales which couldn't be reached with uh, traditional algorithms. And so if we're inventing new algorithms we have to write the codes to, to, uh, to simulate them ourselves. I mainly work in C, uh, but uh, C, C++, Fortran are the, the, the standard type of languages that people use for scientific computing. But we use Python and things like that for some scripting for analysing our data, but not for the main programs. I've always wanted to know more about the universe and I think physics is the easiest and best way to do about that. I also wanted to do engineering, but I found I could draw. Physics is another entry point to a more technical level than engineering degrees allow, I think. Well, I did engineering because engineering is essentially the forefront of anything you see around you. Engineers have created some everything you see in the world. So from anything from uh, aircraft to bridges to even really simple things um, such as houses, engineers have been behind that or engineering technologies have been behind that. So that's why I wanted to do engineering so that I can make, make a change essentially in the world. I chose Bath for a number of reasons. It's, uh, it's an excellent department. We were rated top five in the last research. Uh, assessment exercise. It also it specialises in uh, condensed matter physics, which is what I do. It's a friendly and it's a supportive department, uh, and of course the university has a very good reputation as well. It uh, often comes in the top ten of the national league table. Finally, Bath is just a great place to live. It's a beautiful city. There's a lot going on, and uh, uh, I like living here. I visited all the universities I applied for and Bath was both good at physics and it's a very nice place. The other universities I applied for were very into um, astrophysics and I found Bath isn't, basically. There's very little option for it, which means that I could do other things. And a lot of the stuff they do at Bath, particularly photonics and nanophysics, is much more interesting to me. Well, I chose Bath. It's a bit, I, know, I understand how anyone who is in uh, Year 12 or Year 13 is feeling. Um, I had the option of going to other places, other very respectable engineering universities. The reason I chose Bath is that the course promotes more practical learning because at the end of the day, when I pass my degree, I'd like to have be in a situation where I know the theory but I've also had practical experience, which you may not have in any other good university really. And Bath is one of the top universities in the country and their flexibility is something that attracted me very much. After university, I don't really know what I want to do. I'm not even sure I'm going to do the MPhys yet or drop around to the bachelors, but I would love to go work in astro, not astro, aerospace. I'm not too sure at the moment. Um, I'll be doing an aerospace engineering degree. Um, whether I want to take that into something like defence or um, in an aerospace industry, I have a big passion um, personally, which is sustainable energy. Planning to perhaps use my aerospace knowledge to maybe produce a new type of um, wind turbine or help produce wind farms in in areas that need uh, that need energy essentially so Africa for example um, Southeast Asia South America all these places where you've got so much poverty I want to make hopefully make a change and change people's lives essentially